Mr. President, there is something everyone around the world wants to know. It's about your repeated bashing of former President Donald Trump. Is there a reason he's being mentioned a lot lately in your interviews? Good question, Cooper. Well, you see, the issue with Donald is that he acts like a kid. We can't have a man-child who can't keep Calm his down. composure as a president of this great nation. If he's elected again in 2024, this country will go downwards and everyone who voted for him will regret their decision in less than three months after he enters the office. So would you consider Donald Trump to be the worst president in the history of the world? Well, you see. <laughs> Hold on, I'm not done yet. What was your question again? Do you consider Donald Trump to be the worst president in the history of the world? Well, there are a lot of bad apples out there, but if you really think about it, he is a traitor to America. So when it comes down to it, yes. Donald Trump is the worst president the world has ever seen. I'm actually done with this shit, Barack. You didn't have to break the $9,000 self-repairing TV we bought yesterday. How long have we been friends with that bastard and he stabs us in the back like that? We have done everything for him and he still decides to betray us. I mean, I guess you have a point, but what the hell are we supposed to do about it? Cry him a river? That attitude is what got your wife packed up so I would keep my mouth shut. Damn. Don't worry, I'll have something for you Earth soon to enough, Donald you Trump. bastard. Are you high or something? I said, what are we going to do about it? We are going to assassinate that bastard. Huh. For this mission to be successful, we need a fail-proof plan, because even though Biden acts dumb, he is actually somewhat intellectual, and he may be able to stop our efforts. Now we need to catch him lacking and slipping up. I think that will give us the perfect opportunity. I want to do this after what he did to my damn wife. I hope you know I participated in the plan of assassinating your wife. Don't worry, I'll have something for you soon enough. Wait, what? Hold on. All right, Barack, so what I'm going to do is call Biden and see if we can get him on a mission. Hey, Donald, what do you need? I'm kind of busy right now with my campaign. We have a mission to save a very important person from Mount Chiliad, and he's an old friend of mine, and he's being held up there by some kidnappers, and I need your help. He also owns a huge ice cream chain and can hook you up for life. Shit, bet I'll join you guys, but you're going to have to wait a bit because I have some announcements I have to make on TV. Just make your way to the Bay Tree Canyon stage in about an hour. Sure, I'll be on my way, Biden. Good luck with your announcements. Hey guys, where's the damn ice cream I ordered one hour ago? Rapido, man, rapido. Also, what the hell is wrong with Donald? I guess he got a new girlfriend. All right, Barack, let's head to the location he sent us. We have to stay on high alert, all right. I just realized how much of a bitch you are, Donald. Ha! Say that dumb shit to my face one more time, I dare you. I just realized how much of a the holy already you're starting to piss me off you are. I know damn well you aren't talking be quiet before I get my Hawaiian gangsters on you. Let's be honest, Peter Griffin, you have no females, you aren't winning in 2024, and you're about to lose all your money because I'm about to hack into your accounts and take it for myself. What is you yapping on about, bro? I honestly do not care. I'm living my life, you incoherent, intolerant man-child. Unlike you, I actually have a wife. Isn't that funny? All right, bro. Anyway, so here's what I'm planning to do. We are going to pick up Biden, take him to Mount Chiliad, and make some bullshit excuse to get onto a high platform. I don't know if lying to a president of the United States is a smart idea. All right, remember what we planned, Barack. It's just me and you, the original duo, the original first presidents in our group till Biden rolled around in 2020. Wasn't Biden a vice president at first? So what the hell are you talking about? Let's be honest, we all know that 81-year-old committed election fraud. I thought this was common knowledge by now. Aren't you being charged with election fraud, or was it those hush money payments you sent? I never knew you were freaky, Donald. If it's none of your damn business, don't worry about it, Hussein. So you're basically admitting to it. I mean, you can do anything you want, Donald, but you aren't that one streamer. He didn't do anything, plus I'm telling you to stay out of my damn business and let me deal with my situations alone. This is why your wife cheats on you even still. Show me some video evidence that my wife cheats on me then, Trump? I'm all the evidence you need. How, how could you? Hey, Donald, hurry your ass up already before I have to go to another meeting. Stop using the radio. We are right next to each other. What the hell took you guys so long? I've been waiting here for hours on end. It's actually starting to tick me off. Are you delusional, Biden? We came as soon as you finished your announcement. I can't fathom how dumb you are on a daily basis. Let's go. <coughs> breathe, Biden. Breathe, breathe air. <coughs> Holy shit, your breath smells, I couldn't give a damn if you can't breathe right now. <coughs> Close your mouth, it smells like a bunch of sardines that were marinated in apple cider vinegar and left out for a year. When's the last time you brushed your teeth, Biden? Oh my gosh, it's like a snowstorm in there. Shut up, you damn <coughs> hooligans, and tell me more about the mission. We're gearing up for a mission, a mission of paramount importance. We're heading to Mount Chiliad, Joe, and let me tell you, it's no picnic. We've got someone in trouble up there, someone who needs our help, and they need it now. The situation is dicey, Joe, real dicey. But I believe in you, Joe. I believe in your Shit. leadership, your strength, your ability to rise to the occasion. We're counting on you to lead us through this, Joe. 
We're counting on you to be the guiding light in the darkness, the steady hand on the wheel. So Joe, I need you to dig deep to find that reservoir of strength within you and lead us to victory. Can you do that, Joe? Can you be the leader we need? What the hell are you yapping about, bro? There is ice cream involved. Donald John Trump, I want you to fully understand that your wish is my command and I will- Shut it. Well, folks, let me tell you, if we could turn rain into ice cream, we'd have more flavors than Baskin Robbins. It'd be a real game changer, not just for dessert lovers, but for agriculture, water conservation, you name it. We'd be scooping up solutions left and right, but you know, until that day comes, let's keep working on making life a little sweeter for everyone. Hey, Obama, what the hell is up with Joe today? Nice drift, just like ice cream, I scream for ice cream. He has gelatomania syndrome. What the hell is gelatomania syndrome? It doesn't even exist. It captures the obsession with ice cream, gelato, and the manic behavior associated with it. Me and some other Democrats diagnosed Biden and wrote a name for his mental issues. Hey, what are you two cutie ice cream cones talking about? Ooh, I just want to take a bite. Pause. Yeah, I see what you mean, Barack. This man has become really mental, but it may work in our favor. What are you two talking about may work in whose favor the ice cream man we are about to save? Tell me more. Tell me all the damn stories about, hold on, what the hell is going on? Where are we? What? Oh, yeah, we are about to save some uh, guy from Mount whatever, right? Hey, Barack, pass me an AK-47 and a Glock 19 with a switch on it real fast. Sorry. Man, it looks amazing up here. We've come so far as friends ever since that block thing. I forgot the name of it, but wow, it's amazing. Yeah, and it's really sad. Things will never be the same after this mission. Why is that? Are we disbanding or something? You know I love you guys. This is going to be your final mission, so I want you to put your all into it, all right? Just like old times, best friend. What happened? We all have been busy lately. You have been working on your campaign. Barack has been in retirement focusing on his love life. And I'm dealing with federal cases and my campaign. I'm afraid we can't keep this going for much longer, so I'm calling it quits here for you on this mission. So you're telling me this is the final mission? Yeah, totally, bro. It's the final mission. I understand. Let's do our best then. Donald, I'm using a one-way frequency. He can't hear what I'm saying, but good job. I never knew you were such a good liar. We won't be done anytime soon. If our sources are right, he should be arriving at this platform soon, and then we will take advantage of it to kill his kidnappers. Why don't we intercept the cart into the air? We have enough technology to be able to pull it out I'll of the tracks. I'll explain everything later. Just follow me, Biden. Is that the tram cart you were talking about? There is no one in there. They must have took him. What do we do? We need to intercept them immediately. No, it's fine. We already have our target. What are you talking about, Donald? Joe, let's be honest here. You've had your chance and you've blown it big time. I've been watching from the sidelines, trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. But it's clear you just can't handle I'm the job. I'm asking where the target is. Barack, let me and Donald speak alone. The country's falling apart and it needs someone who can actually get things done. That someone is me. I'm stepping up to the plate because, frankly, you're just not cutting it. Believe me, it's what's best for everyone, including you. You're our target, Joe Biden. Wait, what? This has to be some kind of sick joke. What are you doing, Donald? All those damn times you made fun of me, you assassinated my wife. I told you this would happen. Stop running away. I'm here to assassinate you. So you're going to give up all our damn memories over some girl, really, Donald? Okay. Okay. Folks, I'm going to start mining. Trump, you go to find a village, and you Biden. I don't know. Do something useful. No worries. I already found what to do. Boys, guess what we are doing today? Um, I guess we're looking at you standing in front of a building. We are searching for classified documents, or what? Don't worry about that, Obama. The answers are incorrect, because today, we are going to rob a bank. What do you mean, we? Everything we have built up to this point has it meant nothing to you, nothing at all. I trusted you and Barack with my life, and just because I say something on TV that's enough for you to switch up on me? Take the stairs again, so good luck, Donald. All right, let me make sure he's really dead. I wonder what would happen if I used one of his swords. Actually, no, I don't want anything of hey, his. Hey, Donald Trump, let me tell you something you should hear. He's the worst president the world has ever seen. You aren't a good person. Can't believe this man is still qualified to run in 2024 pictures we have posted, including the one we just took. Man, imagine if dinosaurs were still alive. Wouldn't that be really crazy, guys? Why? Why would you do this to me? Your name is Donald. Nice to meet you. I'm Joe Biden. I think we will make a great team, Mr. President. I don't want to do this. I do not want to do this. You still have a choice. I do not have a choice. 
after all we've been through. Barack Obama, Joe Biden, and Donald Trump will be the best presidents in the history of the world. This means everything to me. Just let me end this peace with you. Farewell, best friend. What's wrong with me? I didn't have to do that. Was there no other way? Keep your head up, Obama. We will be all right. I know, but it just, it just it makes me so sad. Until next time, brave warrior. President Joe Biden for well more than 24 hours already. It is believed that he was last seen at Mount Chiliad. While the storm that hit Sandy Shores was at its peak, the FBI found the presidential car there, but with no trace of the actual president whereabout. Although he hasn't been found yet, the procedures are still taking place in the hopes of finding the president of the United States. This Man, is something turn that this shit off. Dang it. I still can't believe it. I still can't believe that my two best friends betrayed me and tried to take me out. I don't know how much Obama was involved with this since he wasn't there when Donald shot me and pushed me off the mountain. But he can't be clean. I need to. I need to take my revenge. Can you sit down and stop going back and forth? You're pissing me off at this point. I want to enjoy the sunset, not see you stressed out in my face 24-7 and ruining my vacation. What is wrong with you, Obama? If I told you, you wouldn't believe me. Trust me, it's complicated. It's about someone. Man, why did he do it? I. I already feel bad. It's been sitting on my mind. I can't even sleep at night anymore. I can't do anything. This guilt that I have inside of me is killing me. I, I don't know what to do. Fake ass friends. You can't trust anybody in this life. Anybody. You know what? Let me call this prick and see what he has to say. Let's hear his voice trembling when he sees that I survived. Wait, who is that someone? Barack, are you playing games with me? Are you talking about another female? Talk to me, you idiot. Don't turn your back to me before I put you in a rear naked choke. He's He's calling me, I, no, this can't be real, right? This is the Secret Service trying to play games with me. It means that they found out. Oh no. They found out about what? Found You're out. driving what me crazy. Or maybe he is him. Oh my, what is going on? Answer the phone, you piece of shit. I know you're scared. Come on, Barack, be a man for once and answer. Um, hello, uh, hello. Is it you, Biden? Who is this? Listen, I don't know anything about Joe. I don't know where he is, or even if he's alive. It's me, you dirtbag. Listen to my voice. Do you recognize it? I bet you're shitting your pants right now, knowing that your plan didn't work of taking me out. You are a dead man walking Obama. You and Trump. Dead man walking, did you hear me? Wait, Joe, you're, you're alive. Man, I'm so glad that you're good. You don't know what I've been through, bro. I couldn't sleep at night. I thought you were dead. Listen, you got it all wrong, bro. I'm not involved in this. This is all Donald's fault, trust me. I wasn't even with you guys when he tried assassinating you. Think about it. All I know is that we went on the mountain and then I couldn't find you two anymore. Please trust me, bro. I don't have anything to do with this. Trust you? How can I trust anybody after what happened? You know what? Meet me at the Central Morgue. Come here if you're a real man. I ain't scared of you. Wait, when should I come? He, he hung up. Wait, when should I go? Does that mean that I should meet him now? Uh, Michelle, darling, I'm sorry, but but I gotta go, something very important came up. I can't stay here anymore, enjoy the vacation, I will be back, just call me if you need anything. That was one of the ugliest shots I've ever seen in my life, Mike. Suck it up and leave golfing for the elites like myself. I only had to hit that ball three times and I sank it in the hole. Something you two pricks can't even do while dreaming. Anyways, what is Dwight doing with that card? Hey Dwight, what are you doing bro, are you good? What the, did he hit the lake with it? Yo. Ah, crap, help, Donald, Mike, I need some help. I've done park this bitch in the water. Well, now, I can't get it out. Bro, how much does it take for this fool to get here? Or did bro really get scared enough that he thought this is some kind of trap and he ain't gonna pull up? I'm waiting for five more minutes, that's it. Central Morgue, Central Morgue, Central, here it is. Please tell me that this isn't a trap and that I'm about to get, you're, you're here, oh my, I can't believe it. Finally, it took you long Joe, enough. Joe, I wanna kiss you right now, no bro. You don't understand how much I missed you. I didn't even know that you were this important to me until this happened. This really opened my eyes. Biden, I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, yeah, enough with this bullshit. Listen to me carefully. You either tell me straight up what was your implication in all of this and what role did you play or you're getting killed right here. 
I don't even care anymore. And don't start saying anything stupid. You can't even imagine how much I'm holding myself from punching you in the head right now. As I said, I don't have anything to do with it. I'm as clueless as you are. All I knew was that we were going to Mount Chiliad, and then once we got there, you two disappeared. And then Trump appeared out of nowhere, telling me that he lost you. And that, because the storm was getting so much worse, we had to go. And wait, where are you going? Mm, I hear you. To my van, that's where I'm going, and you're coming with me. Because if you are all about what you say, and if you are so innocent, you should be all right with assassinating Donald, right? So that's what we're about to do. I need to take my revenge. I can't be betrayed and not do anything about it. And if you weren't in it, then show it to me. Show me that you're by my side and it wasn't something you took part in as well. How do you want me to show that to you? Look, bro, ever since then, I haven't even talked with Trump. No messages, no calls, no nothing. And wait, do you want to assassinate him? How? How do you plan on doing that? Do you even know where he is at right now? He could be hiding in the mountains or maybe he fled the country. How do you plan on finding him? Listen, Joe, I don't think this is the best idea. You're thinking out of anger. I think that you forgot that I'm still the president. Trust me, I know exactly where this idiot is. He can't hide from me. Oh, it was your turn. Then do something about it. Come on, you bitch. If you're about it, then show it to me. You and your partner can both get it. Dang, that's why I hate playing golf with other people that I don't know. They always mess the vibe up. Just think about it, Joe. If you come out and say to the public that you are all right and that it was Trump who tried assassinating you, then maybe the population would turn against him. Even his voters will turn against him and they will all vote for you this year. Come on, you gotta see the bigger picture. If we kill him right now, we're going to be put in the same boat as him. Right now we have the advantage politically, don't ruin it. Do you think I give a shit about the political advantage we have or about the elections at this point? Bro, it's war. And did you see those paparazzi waiting at the entrance? That means that we got him, he has to be here. My intel wasn't wrong. Listen, maybe we're not gonna kill him in the public out here on the golf course, but we're for sure kidnapping him. We'll think more about what to do with him after we also have a chat. I wanna see what his thoughts were. All right, you know, since you are my closest friend and I wanna to prove to you that I wasn't part of this, I'm with you in anything you wanna do with him, even though I would still suggest to not kill him. It's your call. What he did to you, it's bad regardless, and it shows that he wasn't a true friend. The least that it shows is that he wasn't a true friend Obama. That's the least. Now let's see how we can sneak in and infiltrate between these people without raising too many questions until we find Donald. Well, it's all right. If people see us, I keep my membership with me since I have one at this golf club as well, so it's not like we're illegally here or trespassing. Shh, shut up. I, I see him. Oh boy, I see you, Donald. Obama, look there. He's right by the fountain sitting like a bot. Bro, I want to shoot him so badly. All right, what do we do? Do we just run towards him to confront him. I mean, how else would we kidnap him, right? I hope that he doesn't have security with him. Wait, this attack needs to be well thought. We should have came up with the plan in the van, bro, not when we're about to jump on him. So I say that we first, what? What are you doing? Hey, Joe. Oh my. Hey, freeze. Stop what you're doing. Hi, hi, you. you prick. Oh yeah. I'm right here in your face, bitch. Did you think that pushing me off a cliff will kill me? Guess what? I'm still alive, you idiot. Well alive, ready to kill you. So tell me now a reason why I shouldn't put a bullet between your eyes. Come on, I want to hear it. Joe! Yeah! Help! Somebody help me! They're about to kill me. Yeah! There's nowhere to run, Donald. You are caught. Don't make me kill you here. Come and talk to me. I want to know what was your reason to try and assassinate me when I was one of your closest friends. We might have had some differences in politics, but you know that outside of it, we were homies regardless. But you blew it. You blew our friendship. You blew our trust. You blew everything that we've built together so far. Ah, uh, please, please don't, don't kill me. What now, Joe? We shot and kidnapped him in broad daylight in front of everybody that was there. We might have the cops after us now. Shit, even the FBI, since you went missing and all of a sudden you're seen at a golf course kidnapping Donald Trump. I told you there were better ways to do this. FBI, hmm, you're cooking. Biden, you got the wrong person. Obama is your enemy, not me. It was all his plan from the beginning. It was his plan. I can't believe that you managed to deceive Joe into thinking that I am the one responsible for his assassination ah, attempt. Yeah, you shit. dirty snake, Barack, you traitor. And wow, bro, did you really have to steal my car as well and drive it like this? As of right now, I don't know who's the traitor. All I know is that the last last person I saw before getting pushed and shot, it was you, Trump. And you were the one who dragged me across the mountain at the edge of that cliff. Not Obama. Obama was nowhere there. So just stop lying and admit it. Trust me, what I'm about to do to you next is worse than killing you. That's what you get for playing with me. 
You should have known Donald. If you knew me good enough, you should have known that this is where it was going to end up. And do you really believe that Obama didn't have anything to do with it? Trust me when I tell you, he knew all along. He was part of it fully. From the moment I saw you bashing me on TV to the moment I pushed you off the cliff, he knew all along what was going to happen and what happened. I'm telling you the truth, Biden. He is the real traitor. He's playing on both sides. Just shut up and Barack make sure that he's following me. I got something for his ass. Really, bro? The feds? Are you really gonna... Ah, oh, crap. Wait, bro, are you really gonna turn me in? What is wrong with you? Shit! You better off putting a bullet in my head than doing this. Yo, Joe, what the f... What are you idiots doing in my office? Wait, is that Donald? Oh, shit. Boys, we got him. Ha, finally. Wait, weren't you missing, you little shit? Where were you Do hiding? Do I need to push you more around like a baby? Sit here, you dirty Dorito. Yo, John. Listen here, this prick right here by his name Donald Trump tried assassinating me. That's why I went missing, but now I got him. And I brought him here so you can throw him in jail forever. So is what Joe's saying true, Donald? Do you have any type of defense against his accusations? Yes, he, he's obviously lying. I didn't do any of the things that he said. Besides that- Donald J. Trump, you are found guilty of all the crimes that can possibly be committed under the sun. What? You have been sentenced to prison for the rest of your life without the right to appeal or to parole. Jack, I need one of your guys to get this thug out of my office. Jesus. Yep, exactly. Put him in a this car and ship him directly needs. to the penitentiary. Thank you for bringing him to us, Biden. You can leave now as well. Let me know when we need to make the next transfer to Ukraine. Come on, bro. Have some mercy. Listen, I can wire you a couple of million dollars if all you do is just pull to the side of the road, open my door, uncuff me and let me free. You can then crash the car somewhere and say that someone came and took me from you and that you were outnumbered and couldn't do anything about it. Please, bro. If I become the president in this next election, I'm going to make you governor in a state at your choice. Come on, how much more do you need? Let me go already, bro, please. I'm sorry, Trump, but you know as much as I do that if I let you go, we're both dead. Just accept it, bro. Or maybe have someone to break you out of the prison. I ain't risking anything, so just sit there and enjoy the ride. I still can't believe that you really declined my offer to have you as a governor in any state you wanted. Nah, bro, some of you take y'all jobs way too seriously sometimes. Governor? Really? I mean, it's your choice I ain't staying. Ah! Is he still alive? I don't know, but I'm amazed that the plan worked. I told you my bombs would never disappoint us. I'd say that we leave now, though. The fire keeps amplifying. Peekaboo! Ha, you idiot! You really thought you would escape without facing the ultimate penalty. Have sweet dreams, Trump. The country is mine. The country is mine. The country is mine. All those memories we had, all of them gone like that, just because you wanted to be a traitor. I've told you, Biden, it was always me and you, nobody else. At one point, this was bound to happen. Yeah, just look at him, how pathetic. I, I think it's time to leave now before the police get here. This was well executed. I'm sorry that it had to end like this. Goodbye, Trump. <laughs> what happened? All I remember was seeing Biden and Barack staring down at me in a pit of fire. They understood I had no choice. So why did they decide to do this to me? No, it wasn't Biden. It was, it was Barack. He caused all of this. <laughs> ah. It was his fault this entire time he keeps on switching sides like it's nothing. Why the hell did he agree to assassinate Biden and try to assassinate me? What type of switch up was that? If it wasn't for him butting into our conflict, none of this bullshit would have happened and we would have been fine. Why the hell is he always playing both sides instead of picking one? Get out of the car. And why the hell did he deny to being a part of Joe's assassination to get on his good side? When I get my hands on him, he's done for. Oh wait, doesn't Madrezo live up here? Maybe he will be able to help me with this situation. I can't think right now. I don't know how to feel about all of this. Damn. On one hand, I want to blame Barack for everything. But on the other hand, I want to blame Biden. Or maybe Biden was just a victim of what Barack was doing. Either way, he should be able to help me. Hola, Trump, amigo mío. Hace mucho que no nos vemos. ¿Cómo te va? Mejor amigo. ¿Qué te parece, hermano mío? ¿Cómo estás? Necesito ayuda. All those memories we had, all of them gone like that, just because you wanted to be a traitor. I've told you, Biden, it was always me Donald. and you, nobody else. Oh, mierda. No eres madrazo. I never said I was, sir. And why are you speaking in Spanish? Am if I tripping? Urgent, I know damn well he said his name was right. Madrazo, but that doesn't look like him. Don't tell me I'm sick. Why did my heart start beating like that all of a sudden? 
Hey, what's your name, bald old white guy? What are you even talking about, Donald? Calm down, Batman. How do you not remember me? We aren't playing I Spy, bitch. I'm here on business. We've been friends for years what now. What the hell did I tell you, Christian And the nerve Bale? of you to come into my house and not even recognize me. It's recognized, Madrazo. Now I remember you. You have a deep voice and you're illiterate. So what do you want from me today? So what happened was I went to go assassinate one of my friends who betrayed me with another friend. And I thought we got the job done, but we didn't. So we just went on with our days. And then that other friend, Slash Damn Obama, switched Damn, who would have thought the great Donald Trump would fail at spin- Sorry! Slash Obama switched up and started helping Biden. Then they tried to kill me. So I need help getting back at Barack. Who do you think I am, your errand boy? Eres estúpida, hijo. Best I can do is give you two bodyguards for the future. Yeah, all good, bro. I wasn't expecting much from you because you sit your ass down all day, drink wine, hang out with females, and pay for other things, so I don't really see you as a person to rely on. Keep your mouth quiet before I do what Joe and Obama yeah, couldn't Yeah, you listen to him. All right, I'll shoot you. Dispatcher, I need three cruise missiles. Sorry. Damn it, they probably blocked my number after they tried to kill me, which is actually insane. Well, all right, guys, we are going to handle one thing first. We are getting those bastards at the FBI office that put me in jail. Don't worry, Donald Trump. We will protect you the whole way through. So, Spin the block, you don't have Spin to worry. We are probably I wanna better win, I wanna than win, those two. I wanna win, I wanna win, I wanna win. I wanna win, are y'all on white powder or something? The hell is going on? I have absolutely... Keep that dumb shit up and I'll do you how I did All Biden. right, I'm sorry, sir. So you're telling me your plan is to head straight first into a highly guarded building and start going crazy? Yes, that's my plan. Man, if you don't get your d to crow d built like that one from Family Guy out of here, you dumb d Because who in their right mind thinks of doing dumb like that? Look, I understand you're young, but for the sake of the world, can you please keep your mouth quiet? You see, Steven isn't bothering me, so why are you talking so much? Let's get it done. What the hell are you guys on? Why did you say you're going up and down and it's a rainbow all around? Come on, Donnie. I know you can do better than this. I just dropped three guys in a matter of seconds. What happened to you? Never missing a shot. I've been at this gig longer than you have. It's not easy. Anyways, come here, you damn bastards. You wanted to arrest me, right? You wanted to listen to them, right? You wanted to betray me, even though I helped you guys more than... Biden did, I don't even think Biden cares about the FBI, so come here, boy, before I turn up and get really mad at you guys. Where the hell do you think you're going? I'm not done yet. Hey, Donald, we just got word that something is going on with Biden. Turn on the TV. There is something going on. Hurry it up before it stops airing. Rapido man. I know that everyone is glad that Joe Biden has been found after he was missing for days on end, but let's take this time to celebrate. If I just wanted to ask one question, why did you do that? Don't ask, kid, let's go. We are pulling up to their shit. All right. I'm telling you guys right now, when I get my hands on Joe Biden and Barack Obama, it's over all right after all they did to me, after all of the switch-ups. But who I'm really after is Barack. If he didn't pop in and out of situations, none of this bullshit would have happened in the first place. You got to think about it. I do everything for Obama. I gave him money when he needed it. I gave him food. Every day we were on missions together. I trusted that man more than anyone. And he decides to do this to me, man. I don't even know how to feel. That's what we call a skill issue. Donald Trump, close that back door. Can't get snaked by my homie. That could never be me, Crody. Stop saying Crody damn. I don't give a damn about Drake, all right? Just let me do this in peace, you bitch. Yes, all the rumors were true. I was missing for days. Yes, I was missing, but now we are back and we are not stopping the grind. Barack is here to endorse well, me good? for my re-election, all right, President. man. Do you think former President Donald John Trump will be able to beat you and get elected this season? I'll answer this one, Biden. Let's just say he won't be an issue anytime soon. I, I think it's time to leave now before the police get here. This was well executed. I'm sorry that it had to end like this. Goodbye, Trump. The hell is going on? Why are you breathing like that? <laughs> Shut up. You do not know how much I do not want to do this.
Hey man, you gotta do what you gotta do. Is there someone do, else I can target? Someone, please, stop me. I can't stop myself. You have to fight, man. You'd have to fight. Nah, bro, some of you take y'all jobs way too seriously sometimes. Governor, really? I mean, it's your choice, I ain't staying. Ah. Who do I take out? Someone please tell me, who do I choose? Is he still alive? Make sure you check up on Barack. Hey man, even though we are running against each other in 2024, I just want you to know, I'd never harbor any bad feelings for you. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we conclude our 2024 interview. Don't forget to vote Joe I'll Biden. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye and God bless America all the way. Man, I'm done with this sad shit. That's what you get. Hussein, I'm blaming you for all this bullshit. I hope you enjoy that 50 cal, you stupid bitch, picking two sides. The choice was extremely easy for me in reality. I don't even care anymore. Come here. Where does Biden think he's going? I feel like he should be next after all that slick talk he was talking while I was on my deathbed. Look at everyone running now that Donald Trump is back from being depressed. Oh, really now? I don't even care about what I do anymore. Just come here. Where is everyone going? This won't be any fun, man. These guys are starting to piss me off really bad. You think bathing in a pit of fire is fun, man. I'd rather be replaced like Biden's ass and be thrown off a cliff. Oh! I repeat, Donald Trump is spinning the block. I repeat, is getting back at me and Hussein. This isn't good. I repeat, I hear a bunch of rockets. Where the hell is my ice cream van I ordered? Well, you see, Mr. Don't President. Don't ever question my logic again, you hear me? I gotta hurry up and take his body to a lake so I can dispose of the body, man. I don't know if I'll be able to get rid of all of these cops. Once this is all said and done, I might have another federal charge. I have to deal with, man, I messed up bad. Actually, I have a smart idea. What if I say I was cloned and there was an evil version of me? Wouldn't that work? Nah, the FBI, actually, I took them out. So what the hell would I be scared for? I'd do that. Like every week, it's nothing. For now, I'll just worry about the police and try to get away from them so I can get to water. He's a running, he's a track star. Man. I don't care if I'm running like a cat after experiencing death for the first time. I'm never doing it again, buddy. But I'm guessing he sniped Barack, since he always plays both sides. Damn, this shit is deep. I don't know what to do. One, two, three. Let's say it together, guys. Who are we smoking on? Barack. Barack. Good job, Freya. You have been a good dispatcher, more useful than Stephen over here, who barely says a word. Welcome to the Maladoz Dull Zone. You aren't a shark, buddy. Show it's your host. You already know my name, but you see, there was a huge commotion. Don't worry about him. He is a bit slow in the head today, but anyways, good work today, guys. You each will be getting $50,000 worth of Chuck E. Cheese voucher tickets because holy shit, your performance was so ass today. Do you want to see the late? You must not know where we're from, Donald Trump. Damn, calm down. I'm sorry you will each get cash. My dear friend, Barack Obama, this is the place where you will lie for eternity. I don't think you know it, but it's called a lake. Why we didn't bury you well, because I'm too lazy to do that shit for you. All right, man, if I cared, I would have just made you a grave on Mount Chiliad or something. But man, I can't believe I have to do this. Hey, Joe, I'm using your line, but come see Barack's body one more time. We are at the small lake. What the hell's going on? I told you multiple times I have no choice. You can't just do that. What do you think you're doing? You left me to burn. You're saying that? That doesn't make it right to repeat the damn cycle. You have to be better than us, Donald. You know that already. Anyways, you better get your bitch ass away from his body right now before I shoot up this entire place in milliseconds, all right? Don't get me mad. I know you aren't talking Biden after all the pain you put me, though I'm messed up right now. I can't think I'm sad, I was depressed, I have no other choice. Biden, but to finish what I set out to do, I will let him rest here for the rest of his days. And there is nothing you can do to stop me, Joe Biden. Yo, Joe, hop on Discord, bro. We need to start that Minecraft realm we was talking about. Yeah, sure, but what's Minecraft? Are you slow today, Joey? Did they give you the right pills, or did you took again your son's special white powder? Mr. Trump, in the tumult of politics, let us not forget the value of life. 
It's not about left or right, it's about humanity. We hold the power to protect it, nurture it, and ensure its sanctity. Let's rise above the fray, recognizing that in the end, amidst our differences, amidst our trials, we are bound by the universal truth. We never die. Wait, what? Yep, I'm done with all of this. I'm jumping into the lake. Bye. I'm glad you're alive. <laughs>